You see, fishes can get their oxygen from the water, but Smurfs have to get it from the air. Now, look at this blueprint. There it goes again. Feels like a big old fish. Brainy says it's a heavy boulder. <laughs> Brainy's boulder just ate your blueprint. Must be a rock fish. <laughs> of picking up all this junk. I don't know what's the matter with those humans. Clutter, clutter, clutter. <sighs> oh, come on, Aquarius. You must be getting old. <sighs> it can't be that heavy. <clears throat> oh, 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 no. M Morena. Daddy? <sighs> Hurry, Morena. Daddy, what is it? <clears throat> Just a little indigestion. Probably some green kelp I ate for lunch. Oh. Now, just relax, Daddy. Ajax and Hercules will take you home. I'll go get some lily root. Lily root? Oh, n no, Morena, you, you mustn't go near the Pool of Avalon. It's an awful place. Daddy, I should have gone a long time ago. But it, it's way up the River Smurf, and there's a mean custodian guarding the pool. I'll be careful, Daddy. You just rest. I'll be home with your medicine in a few days. Morena, please, don't go. Remember, Smurfs, Andy's life is in your hands. If you don't Smurf the air pump, he can't breathe underwater. Is that clear? How do I Smurf this thing? Just Smurf down on him. No! no not now! Clumsy, when I said Smurf down on it, I didn't mean now. Are you all right, Andy? I'm doing fine. <laughs> well, my little Smurfs, I guess we're ready for a practice dive. So when Handy wants to surface, he'll smurf once on the line. And if he wants more air, he'll smurf twice. One smurf means up. Don't worry about it, Clumsy. Just do what I do. Ready, Papa Smurf? Remember, I'll smurf off the rhythm for you. Ready, Handy? It's a big boulder. Now, Handy, you be careful down there. Avalon. Ah, of course, the magical pool of Avalon. 
I came to see how she's doing. Why, Andy, you brought her flowers. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, when somebody is sick, you know, but gosh, she sure is smurfy looking. Oh, I, I mean, for a fish. <laughs> is she a fish, Papa Smurf? Not quite, Smurfette. All we really know about mermaids is that they can't live very long out of water. Ha, ah, here it is, the Pool of Avalon, a source of magical healing herbs guarded by a very mean custodian. Oh, my head. She's coming, too. Where, where am I? In the Smurf village with friends. Friends? You're not my friends. Calm down. We only want to help you. We pulled you out of the river, remember? <gasps> the river. I must get back to the river. <gasps> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Quietly now, give her some room. Relax, little mermaid. We only want to help you. I'm Papa Smurf. I'm Smurfette. Uh, I'm Handy, ma'am. My name is Marina. My home is in Atlantica, under the ocean, far away. Marina. Oh, that's a beautiful name. What's that? Handy built it for you. It's a Smurferator. It smurfilates air through the water. All fish, well, I mean, uh, uh, mermaids, anyway, need to... <gasps> How thoughtful of you. Marina, why were you swimming so far from home? Oh, my father Aquarius is sick, and he may die if I don't bring him some lily root from the Pool of Avalon. I may be too late. Oh, please don't cry. Papa Smurf, can't we do something? Harmony, have all the Smurfs assemble at the Great Oak, right now. <laughs> Smurfette, I want your group to go to the Pool of Avalon and Smurf up all the lily root you can find. I hate lily root! And remember, the pool is guarded by a mean custodian, so Smurf your eyes open. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, ready when you are, Smurfette. Now the sea rescue team. Dreamy, of course, is captain. Yay! Handy is the diver. Yay! And the navigator is Brainy. Boo! Well, how do you like that? Absa Smurfly beautiful. Oh, terrific. A mutinous crew and a lovesick diver. What a Smurfy rescue team this is. Don't worry, Marina. Your father will soon be Smurfy again. Uh, Handy, you're going to miss the boat. That Handy is so lovable. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. Yo, heave ho! Smurf it up, mates! How come we do all the <coughs> heaving and you do all the yo hoing? You don't like yo hoing? It drives me smurfy! Hmm, me too, but some smurf has to do it. So, you two heave and I'll yo ho. Now, yo heave ho! Sure, Smurf Ed should be there with your medicine. Tell her, beware the mean custodian. I should have gone with Smurf Fed. I'd rather Smurf my chances with ten mean custodians than with one love sick diver. Ah, oh, this must be the pool of Avalon. Papa Smurf says that all these Smurfy blossoms have magical healing powers. Come on, team, let's wait in. I hate waiting. Well, as long as we're waiting, I think I'll take a nap. There they are, the lilies. Oh, I have the lily root. Oh, no, you don't. 
I told you, I hate Lily Root. It's the custodian. Let's smurf out of here. Well, <clears throat> I guess we'll be going. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, we will. Just wait till you try. We're stuck. <laughs> All right, you mean old custodian. What do you want from us? Your gold or your lives. <laughs> Well, I said your goal to your lives. What'll it be? Surely you travelers have one small bag of gold. You wouldn't dare leave home without one. Uh, well, you see, where we come from, we have no need for gold. <laughs> but where you've come to, my pretty, you do. It's turned to quicksand. Quicksand? Daddy! Oh, Daddy! Uh, Marina, just when I thought I, I'd never see my little girl again, along came that brave blue creature, and like the answer to my prayers, here you are in my arms. Welcome to our humble village, Aquarius. I am honored and eternally in your debt, sir. <laughs> Hefty, clumsy, take Aquarius to my house. He needs to rest after such a long journey. Papa Smurf is right, Father. You rest, and soon your lily root will be here. Andy, I don't want to alarm our guests, but Smurfit's team has been gone an awfully long time, and... Oh, no! Aquarius needs that lily root, and maybe that mean custodian guarding the pool. Shh! Remember, Aquarius is not well. We mustn't upset him. I'll take my crew and find Smurfette. Thank you, Handy. You little monster! This is cruel and unsmurfy punishment for picking just a few silly lily roots! Silly lilies? Oh, 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 they have the power to save lives if you buy them, or take lives if you steal them. And you call them silly? I think a better word for them would be Expensive. Did you see those Smurfy boots? Now, Smurf attention, Smurfs. I've got a plan. Any last request? <laughs> yes. Don't make waves. Hey, here's the magic pool. Over here, Handy. Lily roots. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Happy, where are you? Up in the kickapoo tree. The kickapoo tree. <laughs> Handy, I'm up here. Is that you down there? No, not my magic boots. You tricked me. You tricked me. Hurry, Handy. They're up to their noses. Are you all right? <laughs> Andy, pull them out of the quicksand! Yay! No, no, that's not fair. <sighs> the medicine! I hate medicine! You should be ashamed of your smirk. There are lots of things in life worth more than gold. Yeah, well, name one. Health, happiness, and love. And Breedy's cookies! Cookies? What kind of cookies? Smurfberry cookies. Smurfberry cookies, my favorite. Now, let's talk about lily roots. Anything, all my lily roots. I really need a smurfberry cookie. Well, we really need lily roots. Now, promise you'll never smurf like that again. I promise, I promise. I think we just made a very smurfy deal. Turn the custodian loose. Oh, yum, yum, yum. My little Smurfs, this is a very Smurfy occasion we celebrate tonight. Hear, hear! Our newly Smurf friends from under the sea are alive and Smurfy! Hey! Our two brave teams of volunteers are back home, safe and sound! Hooray! Huzzah! And I am Smurfily proud of each and every one of them. However, I am particularly proud of one gallant Smurf. His daring, his courage were above and beyond the Smurf of beauty. 
he will go down in the Book of Smurf as a hero who risked his life to save the lives of others. Uh -huh. Of course, you know I'm smurfing about our Smurf of Honor, Handy! Hey! 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 Go! Marina, this is the smurfiest night of my whole life. I'll never forget this evening, or you, dear Handy. Did you know that when a mermaid throws a flower on the water, she'll return to that very spot one day? Are you trying to tell me that you'll be smurfing home soon? Well, now that Father is healthy... Oh, Handy, if only there was some way you could come with me under the sea. Marina, there may be a way. Really? We'll find out tomorrow. Ah, what a bittersweet moment this must be for those youngsters. It doesn't seem fair. I know, Smurfette. But at least they've had one shining hour. That's more than some folks have in a lifetime. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> oh, Andy, I knew you'd think of a way. That's one of those, what did you call it? Smurferator. Now I don't need a hose to smurf air. Well, <laughs> here goes. Oh, that's wonderful. Welcome to my world, Handy. How do you like it? It's smurfy. Oh, I gotta get the hang of this thing. You're doing just fine, Handy. Marina, wait for me. <laughs> I'd wait for you forever. Marina! Correct. She is mostly fishy, and the rest of her is, well, no matter what Handy may think, definitely not Smurfy. But they're in love. <laughs> so what difference does it, Smurf? What is it Papa Smurf says? East is east, and west is west, and never the twain shall Smurf. Twain? What's twain? Well, it's a sort of a kind of a... a... Help! Get Hefty! Handy's in trouble! Hefty? Why Hefty? Never fear, Brainy is here. <laughs> I just remembered I can't swim. Happy! Happy! Marina, where is Handy? Follow me. Oh, it's no use. <laughs> Excuse me. He could have drowned out there. Handy, you know it's one thing to be brave, but it's another thing to be foolhardy. Maybe Marina can learn to stay on land. It's just a matter of getting used to the water. And staying away from smurf-eating clams. <laughs> now remember that tomorrow. Tomorrow? But Daddy, I love him. Uh, of course you do. But if you really love him, you'll let him go. Let's face facts. A smurf in the sea is like a fish out of water. I know. Oh, Daddy, what in the name of Neptune should I do? I, I think you know the answer. I'm swimming back home tomorrow, and I don't believe I'll be swimming alone. I'll tell him tonight. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, what a beautiful view. Ooh. P.S. On a clear day, you can see the ocean. Uh, speaking of the ocean, Handy. Oh, you know, maybe if I added flippers and a tail to my diving suit. Handy, stop. The diving suit isn't the answer. I'll smurf up something better. Maybe a smurfungus bubble, and we can... Oh, Handy, when I look at your strong, handsome face in the moonlight, I... Marie! 
Katrina, quickly! Farewell, my love. Andy? She's better off where she's going. Oh, Andy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't cry, Smurfette. She's smurfing home to Atlantica. Remember this, Andy. It is better to have smurfed and lost than never to have smurfed at all. to believe. There hasn't been a Smurfquake in this forest since I was a young Smurf of 102. But what else could have Smurfed as Papa Smurf? I'm not sure, Andy. This is very strange. Very strange. Oh. 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 What is that, Papa Smurf? Oh. 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 Why? I... I don't know what it was, Smurfette. We'll need a lot more logs than this to re-smurf the dam and bridge. Maybe we can smurf some on the other side of that hill. Uh, gee, I don't remember seeing this hill before. Oh, clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. A hill can't just smurf up out of nowhere. It takes years and years for a hill to build up. I know, because I have studied geology and... Wait for me! I think Clumsy was right. This is a new hill. <gasps> What's that? Smurf Quake! Smurf Quake! What? <laughs> oh, hey, look! It's a volcano! Uh, hey! <laughs> oh! 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Hello! Hey! He's just a boy! A little giant! Hey! Who are you? Crouchy, just a smurf higher! I hate higher! Just a smurf to the right! I hate the right! A little to the left! I hate the left! Very smurfy, Crouchy! Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, there's a little giant! Yeah, and he needs our help! The poor boy is lost! I <laughs> Hold it! My goodness, what are you smurfing about? Well, we met this little giant. His name is Simon, and he... <laughs> Simon! <laughs> we told you to stay where you were! I was lonesome! Papa Smurf, this is Simon. He's lost. We told him you'd help him get back home. Simon, this is Papa Smurf. Hello, Papa Smurf. It's nice to meet you, Simon. 
Are you going to help me find my mommy and daddy? Well, of course I am. Oh, good! I don't know where they are. I went out to play and got lost and... No, Simon, no! Wait, wait! I fell down! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Simon, you certainly did fall down. I hope we find his home very quickly. Yeah, or we won't have a home. <laughs> I like you, Smurfs. <laughs> You're smurfing it to one side. Would you relax, Greedy? We know what we're smurfing. Lo, 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 lo. Oops. Look out! You almost squashed your cake, Simon. And us. I hate being squashed. This is for me? Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was good. Any more? Gee, I thought that was gonna be enough. Oh, well, you're a growing giant. I'll Smurf you another one. Boy, oh, Smurf, I hope Papa Smurf finds out where Simon lives soon. He's gonna Smurf us out of house and home. Let's see, the Smurf Guide to Middle Earth? No. Ah, this should have it. Bigger homes and gardens. Oh, no, not again. Look out! Here he comes! Smurf out of the way! Smurfing here. I came for my cake. We said we'd bring it to you, you big shh. Hefty. He's only a child. Oops. Oh, what happened? Remember what Papa Smurf always says. Uh, what does Papa Smurf always say? I'm sorry. I didn't want you to have to carry the cake so far. That's very smurfy of you, Simon, but you really shouldn't come into the village. You're too big. Well, I... Simon! Simon! What did I tell you about coming into the village? Uh, you said not to, Papa Smurf. Then why did you disobey me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Papa Smurf. I thought I was being helpful. You could have hurt some Smurf, Simon. <laughs> Don't you... Don't you like me anymore? It's not that we don't like you, Simon. We just don't want you in the village. Well, no, that, that's not exactly what I... Oh! <laughs> oh! You don't like me! Nobody likes me! Simon, you don't understand. I want to go home! <laughs> in the forest, Simon. I'll find out where you live. I must be losing my touch, Azriel. It's been weeks since I've devised any dastardly new plan to exterminate those loathsome Smurfs. I can't even... What's this? What a magnificent giant! Uh, there's only one way to find out. Uh, come, Azriel. Huh? I don't understand it, Azriel. How could we have lost a giant? He, he, he must be around here somewhere. <coughs> you. Who are you looking for? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, it, 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 you. We're looking for you. Why? You probably don't like me any more than the Smurfs do. <laughs> Did you say Smurfs? Do you know the Smurfs? Kind of. You've been there? At their charming village? Yup. Well, that is interesting. <laughs> but they don't like me. <laughs> 
Oh, what a shame. Well, I can tell you're a real fine fellow, and I'm nothing like those nasty Smurfs. I like you, and I want to be your friend. I'm a, I'm a warm, kind, loving human being. Gee, this is a great toy, Mr. Gargamel. <laughs> Just call me Uncle Gargi. Really nice of you to give me this. Well, yes. <laughs> One never knows when children will drop in. And I just love children. You're a nice man, Uncle Gargi. Well, I, I try to be. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back in a moment. And remember, just call me Uncle Gargi. Yuck. I don't know how nice people can stand themselves. Don't worry, Azriel. All this niceness will be worth it. Once I have that king-sized dimwit under my control, I'll use him to destroy the Smurfs. <laughs> Let's face it, Azriel. That gargantuan thimble brain is too kind-hearted to harm those miserable Smurfs. Even if they did hurt his feelings. So, we'll just have to persuade him. <laughs> You're sorry. A magic ring? Yes, that's right, Simon. Put it on, and it will lead you right back home. Oh, thank you, Uncle Gargi. You're the best friend I've ever had. Ooh. Oh! I'm sorry, Uncle Gargi. He just put on the ring. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, feeling fine? Yes, Master. I thought you might. <laughs> Sorry, Smurfette, where you'll find him. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh. Uh, hi, Simon! Papa Smurf found your home. On a map! In one of his books, which I help him catalog regularly, because I'm Papa Smurf's assistant, and that means... Quiet, Brainy! Something smurfing on here. Why, Papa Smurf, you have such a way with words. <gasps> Stop them, Simon! <laughs> you filthy blue wretches have finally run out of luck! <laughs> oh, where are we, Papa Smurf? I don't know, Smurfette. Ah, I see where we are. Ah. I thought you said you knew where their village was, you overgrown fool. I do not remember, Master. Ooh, how can a brain the size of yours have so little in it? How is Gargamel controlling Simon, Papa Smurf? I'm not sure, Smurfette, but we'd better find out. I've seen their village before. Keep an eye out for something that looks like a mushroom patch. Yes, Master! There! There! Over there! Try that direction! Yes, Master! So, that's how he's smurfing it. We'll need a piece of the jewel bigger than the ring on Gargamel's finger. We can smurf it, Papa Smurf? Well, good luck, and be careful, my little Smurfs. Almost there, Handy! Oh, what's the use? I don't... Wait! Wait! I see it! <laughs> Over there, you oversized pinhead! Over there! The Smurf Village! <laughs> No 
nowhere near the village, are we? Not by a long Smurf. Simon, stop. Listen to me, Smurfs. This is the magnificent Gargamel. I already have your Papa Smurf and a few others as my prisoners. <laughs> the rest of you surrender, or I will destroy them. <laughs> Simon, destroy the village. Must I, Master? Of course, you big lummox. If I say you must, you must. <laughs> Very good, Simon. Simon, turn to the right. Move forward. Wait, where are you going? Stop. I said come back here, you big... <laughs> we'll worry about him later, Azriel. <laughs> well, at least we finally destroyed those filthy, disgusting, vile, vulgar... mushrooms. Oh, no! It's not fair, Aziel! It's just not fair! They're just mushrooms! <laughs> Gee, Papa Smurf, how'd you know we'd get control of Simon if we had a big enough piece of that jewel? I've learned a few things in my 553 years, Handy. <laughs> it was so smurfy, watching Gargamel run away from Simon. <laughs> yeah, the same way we ran away from him. <laughs> it just goes to show you, my little Smurfs, size is a relative thing. Uh, what does that mean, Papa Smurf? It means what's big to you is small to Gargamel. And what's big to Gargamel is small to Simon. And what's big to Simon is... Papa Smurf? Papa Smurf? According to your map, we're on a direct course to the home of that family of giants. I'm sure it's Simon's family. He's probably still upset with us. We'll keep him under the spell until we get there. Full Smurf ahead, Simon! Yes, Master! Oh, I'm getting hungry, Papa Smurf. Me too. Me three. Me twelve. What about food, Tracker? There's a Smurfberry Grove a few miles to the Smurf. On to the Smurf, Simon. Yes, Master. By the way, Papa Smurf, we have to Smurf across a river to get to those Smurf berries. A river, Tracker? You don't say. And we may Smurf close to an active volcano. Yes, Tracker, you could be right. But the worst part will be smurfing up the side of a cliff that... Put the book away, Tracker! Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, my Smurfness! How will we reach those Smurf berries, Papa Smurf? We can't Smurf it. I guess we'll have to stay hungry a while longer. A while longer? I hate longer! I've got an idea, Papa Smurf. What is it, Handy? Let's see. Those Smurf fairies are about 40 kilo Smurfs away. It'll work! I'm sure of it! May I Smurf the jewel, Papa Smurf? One pace to the right, Simon! Now, Simon, one time! Ha! Huh. <laughs> No, Simon, that was perfect. <sighs> that was a very smurfy idea, Handy. I knew I could count on you. Thanks, Papa Smurf. But next time, smurf us a little more warning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, every Smurf, Smurf on board Simon. We still have to Smurf him home.
Oh, we'll find him. We'll find him, Azriel. Just keep an eye out for his... <coughs> ...footprints. Oh, Nelson, our poor baby. Don't worry, Lydia. We'll find him. We'll find him. But you've looked everywhere. And I'll keep looking until I find him. Is this your home, Simon? Yes, Master. We made it, my little Smurfs. Yay! Thanks, Smurfness. Yay! I must be dreaming. Thank you. Thank you, Papa Smurf. Thank all of you, Smurfs. I think Simon has learned some good lessons. I hate lessons. It's nice to be back, Fitzgerald. Psst, Simon. Uncle Gargi. Shh, shh. What did you do with those miserable Smurfs? Oh, no, Uncle Gargi. The Smurfs are my friends, and they care about me. You gave me lots of presents, but you didn't care about me at all. No, 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 no. Who's been filling your head with that nonsense? <coughs> Daddy, this is Uncle Gargi. Uncle Gargi. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess I'll be getting along. Uh, nice meeting you. Let's get out of here, Azriel. After them, Fitzgerald! Oh, imagine picking on poor little me. I tell you, Azriel, some giants have no consciences. I'll get you, you no good wizard! Uh, gee, Papa Smurf! Now I see what you mean. <laughs> Size is a relative thing. Very astute, Clumsy. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing Simon has big relatives. Smurfly divine. Oh, I thank you, Vanity. Ah, oh, yes, Vanity, you sly Smurf, you divine is the word. Mm. Oh, I can think of a few more words, but I'm a lady. Good morning, lazy. Huh? Uh huh? How do you like my new dress? Oh, well, I, uh. uh... I hate dresses. Smurfs? Who needs them? They don't understand me at all. Here, Princess, some more crackers. Oh, thank you very much, Laura. You're welcome. Yahoo! Oh, yippee! Talking to yourself again, Laura? I'm talking to my friend, the elf princess. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as elves, silly. Yeah, Father says they're just make-believe. Well, you're playing make-believe, too. You're not even real knights. That's different. Come on, Henry. Let's go catch a frog. Maybe she'll kiss it and turn it into a prince. Or an elf. <laughs> dumb old boys. <laughs> With their dumb old games. They never understand us girls. I know just what you mean. <gasps> Who are you? Uh, are you an elf? <laughs> no, I'm a Smurf. But some of my best friends are elves. Really? Mine, too. Well, well, sort of. What a pretty dress you have. Why, thank you. You know, I think we're going to get along just Smurfy. <laughs> oh, who's that? Just my pesky brothers. I'd better go. They wouldn't 
wouldn't understand about me. They don't understand me either. Could I come with you, please? Well, I, I don't know. Oh, 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 Laura, we return from the crusade. Laura? Laura? Laura and her elves. You see anything, Henry? Um, um, uh, no, not a thing. I didn't see a thing. Well, come on, we better find her. Laura! <laughs> <laughs> we sure fooled them, Smurf, that we girls have to stick together, right? Right. Look! A house in the middle of the forest. Hmm, I've never been here before. Let's Smurf a look inside. <gasps> Laura, this is perfect. It is? This can be our own secret place. Yes, and no boys allowed. A smirk. La 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 There, we did it. Our very own secret place. Just for us girls. Well, well, well. <gasps> and what have we here? Oh, who are you? Me? I'm just one of the girls. <laughs> and you are in my house. Oh, my. We're very sorry, and we'll be on our way. So soon? Why, I wouldn't think of it. But we must. Easy, Porthos. They're not going anywhere. Are you girls? <laughs> Laura! 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 Where could she have gone? Norman, I think the elves got her. Elves? Henry, don't you start that too. Laura! But I saw one, a little blue one. Henry, this is no time for jokes. Come on. We'd better tell Father Laura's missing. Come, come, dearies. Hurry up with that. There's much more to do. But we're tired. And we're hungry. Yeah, we want to go home. Home? But this is your home. From now on. <laughs> quiet, quiet, please. Now, my little Smurfs, has anyone seen Smurfette? No. I haven't seen a thing. Have you, Greedy? Me either. Not since this morning. This morning? Was she upset? Uh, I didn't notice. Well, did she say anything? Gosh, I, I didn't notice. Well, we were kind of busy. Yes, busy ignoring her. I'm afraid Smurfette must have run off. <gasps> run, run off? Come quickly. We must find her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Eat hearty, dearies. There's plenty more bread and water when you finish that. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Then dinner is over. <laughs> now it's bedtime for you two. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Ah! <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, what's a big idea? What's smurfing on here, anyway? Look! Laura! Laura! Shh! Humans! Whoa! Human! Ooh! Laura! Laura! Ooh. Laura! Well, here's where we were, Father. Then she just disappeared. I told you boys to watch your sister, and now she's out in the forest all alone. She, she wasn't alone, Father. She was with... with a little blue elf. <gasps> She must be with this human girl. Blue elves, my eye. We have to find Laura and find her fast. Yes, Father. Laura! 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 Quickly, we must follow them. Laura! Laura! <laughs> Porthos. Yes? 
Forgive the intrusion, good woman, but we seek a lost child, my daughter. A oh, child, you say? Let me see. Uh, yes, I believe I saw her heading uh, that way. That way? That way? What was that? Oh, <laughs> just rats. The root cellar is full of them, you know. Ever since I lost my cat. Well, thank you for your trouble, madam. Good night. That was Smurfette's voice in there. I bet my Smurf on it. Come on. You can yell all you wish now, dearies. It won't do you any good. <laughs> All you Smurfs, be very, very quiet, because Papa Smurf says... Oh. <laughs> Laura! Laura! Are you sure it was a voice you heard in that house? Yup, like a little elf. And I'll bet Laura's in there, too. <sighs> then let's go find out. Quiet, Porthos. Leave the squirrels be, or no supper for you. <laughs> I'm so scared, Smurfette. I wish I'd never run away from my brothers. It just made everything worse. I know. I miss my sweet little Smurfs, too. Oh, oh, oh. This branch will get us to the roof. Then we can climb down the chimney. No problem, Papa Smurf. Yeah, it's as easy as smurfing off a little... I told you! Porthos! Quiet! Quickly, my Smurfs, quickly! Smurfette's life may depend on us! A little girl elf must be inside! Yes, with Laura! Come on, let's follow them! Quickly, there's not a minute to Smurf! you're safe. Oh, yes. Thanks to the little blue Smurfs. Smurfs? It's true, Father. If it wasn't for the Smurfs here, they're gone. Well, I'm sure if they truly exist, you'll see them again someday. Now, let's go home. Just love nuts. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Here's this special nut just for you, Grady. Gee, thanks. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Very funny. What was that? I don't know. E flat? It sounded like a horn. <gasps> humans! Hmm, that's odd. What would humans be doing in this part of the forest? Baby! Hey! Help! Yikes! Yow! Oh, Papa Smurf, what a mess! Did you see the size of that snake? <laughs> 
My color's not too good. Oh, gee, I'm the same color as you, Vanity. Maybe I ought to lie down, too. Are you feeling better? Papa Smurf's moss balm should help your foot a lot. And these goodies will help you keep up your strength. Greedy. Dear, do not eat Smurf berry tarts. They are exclusively herbivorous, which means they can only digest a diet of leaves, twigs, flowers, or grass. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> he likes it. That's impossible. I just don't understand it. You know, Greedy, I, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something kind of familiar about this deer. I cannot believe these worthless dogs let it get away. But Sir Malcolm, enough! Tomorrow we capture that black stag or by thunder. It's the dungeon. Yes, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> yes, Your Grace. Oh, oh, begging your pardon, Sir Malcolm, but have you heard any word from King Gerard? 
No, Mrs. Sowerberry, I have not. Well, I know I shouldn't worry so, but it's just not like His Majesty to have left so sudden-like without even saying goodbye. There was great urgency, Mrs. Sowerberry. Affairs of state. Oh, well, you know, I'm so fond of His Highness and that dear little clockwork smurf that whenever they're away, I just naturally feel that... Yes, yes, Mrs. Sowerberry, I quite understand. Now, I must retire, madam. The hunt resumes early tomorrow. Oh, uh, sleep well, your lordship. So, she misses you, dear cousin. <laughs> They call me Malcolm the Mean, you know. But what would they call me if they saw my latest trophy? <laughs> what a prize! <gasps> but my greatest prize is yet to come. The Black Stag. For when it is mine, I shall become king! Is that not true, dear cousin? With my magic amulet, I've turned you into a deer. And now your loyal subjects are hunting down their own king! <laughs> Poor King Gerard. After tomorrow's hunt, the throne will be mine. So until tomorrow, <laughs> dear cousin, pleasant dreams, wherever you are. <laughs> It's no use. I've got to get help before it's too late. Just as I thought. Harmony's tracks lead directly to King Gerard's castle. Then Harmony must be in there. Look, there he is. It's Harmony. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Harmony, are you all right? Oh, Papa Smurf, I'm so glad I found you. That mean Malcolm the Mean has captured Clockwork Smurf, and he's, he's going to do away with King Gerard. What? How do you know? He has a magic amulet, and he turned King Gerard into a deer, and he's going to try to catch him tomorrow. The stag! This must not be! If we can get that magic amulet, perhaps we can break the spell. <laughs> we'll smurf that amulet away from him! Yeah! He'll never know what smurfed him! Oh, uh, well, won't that be kind of dangerous? We must try, Harmony. It's King Gerard's only hope. And clockworks, too! I guess you're right. Follow me! This way. Come on! Wow, what a strange place. I've never seen anything like it. The animals are so still. I'm afraid these are just stuffed animals, Hefty. What do we do now, Papa Smurf? First, we'll try to revive Clockwork. Then we'll find Malcolm's amulet. All right, now every Smurf lift on the count of three. One, two. Free Smurf! <laughs> Too bad Handy isn't here. He'd know just what to do. Hmm. Perhaps if I turn this switch... Papa Smurf? Shh. 
I'll get you, Gerard, you puny little... Let's go. and some rope, perhaps we could fish it out. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Gently now, my little Smurfs. That's the way. into any more unexpected surprises on the way home. Mrs. Sowerberry! Sir? Have you seen my amulet? Oh, oh, oh uh, no, Sir Malcolm. It's missing. Have the servants search every room in the castle immediately. Oh, oh yes, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> I must find that amulet. Without it, I could lose my power over Gerard. Well, have you found it? We've searched the castle from top to bottom, Sir Malcolm. And? Uh, your amulet is nowhere to be found. Then we must find the black stag without delay. Do not escape me today. <laughs> Of the truth. 
treatment was a success. Hey! Your leg is all better, Mr. Deer. Now you can go back to the forest. <laughs> Whatever is he doing? Why, he's drawing a picture. Why, it looks like a castle. But what does it mean? What are you trying to tell us? Wait! Don't run away! You're safe here! Hmm. That's gratitude for you. As I was saying to Papa Smurf just the other day, it seems... Clockwork! Oh, Clockwork, it's so good to see you! <coughs> Tell me, how are all your gears? <coughs> oh, that's fine, fine! My little Smurfs, there is not a moment to lose. We must find the black stag and bring it here to the village. But Papa Smurf had just left! What? That's right! It was hurt, so we brought it here and took care of it! Great Smurfs! That deer was King Gerard! King Gerard! I knew there was something familiar about that deer. We must find the king before the hunters do. I'll stay here and try to find a way to break the spell. Leave no stone unturned, my little Smurfs. His life depends on it. Yes, Papa Smurf! King Gerard! Uh, king Gerard? Clumsy, what are you doing? Well, uh, Papa Smurf said to leave no stone unturned. Oh. King Gerard! Hello! King Gerard! King Gerard! Hurry, Grouchy! We've got to keep looking! I hate looking! Where can he be? <coughs> Look! Wait! Come back! <coughs> yeah! Yeah! He's headed toward Griag Gully! Come on! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> He's getting tired! Let's see. Cures for antler rust, open mouth, grazing neck. No, that's not right! him captured alive. Yes, yes your, your highness. highness. Thank you, dear friends. Once again, I owe you my life. If not for your kindness and the bravery of Harmony and my dear clockwork, I might have been just another prize for Malcolm to hang on his wall. And what will become of Malcolm now, Your Majesty? I shall restore him to normal only after he is captured. <laughs> Perhaps my cousin will have learned a lesson after the dogs have snapped at his own heels for a while. Let's hear it for King Gerard! Hooray! 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 Now that's what I call cruelty to animals. No, you're not. 
that's on that lumber straight. Farmer, watch where you're hammering. Careful with that ladder, clumsy. Papa Smurf always says, work with your hands. And not with your mouth. Little Papa Smurf hears about this. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Andy, this water wheel of yours is a Smurfy idea. We can find the brain faster than ever before. Thanks, Papa Smurf. We should be able to start it working tomorrow afternoon. Okay. When I say go, we all lift the axle at the same time. Let's do it. Hey, where's Dreamy? Gee, I wonder if there's life up there in Outer Smurf. <sighs> I'll bet there is. And they're probably wondering if there's any life down here. Dreamy! Hey, someone up there is calling me. Here I am, here I am. Dreamy! Oh, hi, Hefty. Smurf it up! There's work to be done. There must be someone up there. It only stands to reason. Dreamy, watch where you're going. It might even be like Smurfs. Not exactly, maybe, but something like Smurfs. Dreamy! Maybe they're human or... Stunning. Smurf, would you believe I saw a visitor from Outer Smurf? Uh, I didn't think so. Now we'll have to smurf another one. 
and it fell from the sky, Papa Smurf, and there he was, all in silver, hanging upside down on a tree. Hmm. This is all very hard to accept, Dreamy, but I'll go with you to the forest where you say you saw these things. Oh, thank you, Papa Smurf. Thank you. It's right on the other side of these bushes, Papa Smurf. But I don't understand. It was right there. There was even a hole in the ground. Well, Dreamy, with all respect, I'm afraid I don't see anything. But I saw it, Papa Smurf, and I saw the visitor, too. Maybe you just dreamed it, Dreamy. Now I must go back and help Handy. Oh, hi, Smurf. Who are you? I, I thought I knew every Smurf in the village. Oh, I need to get one of Papa Smurf, I found him. I found him. Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, I found him. Come see. Hurry. See? Uh, perhaps you've been working too hard, Dreamy. Papa, you've got to believe me. He's not really a Smurf. He's, he's... Oh, Colin, please. I'll Smurf up a tonic for you uh, when the water wheel's finished. But, but, but... You know what? Do me a favor and go away. I never want to see you again. You look over there, clumsy. Just make sure it's a straight piece of wood and strong enough to support that axle. Uh, okay, Handy. Looking for an axle pain. Looking for an axle pain. Oh. Gee, this sure is a funny looking stick. Look, it's straight and strong. Hey, Handy. Uh, look what I found. Uh, what is it? Will it do? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Do you think it'll make a good axle pin? It just might at that. Perfect fit. Okay, Papa Smurf. Open the sluice gates, Hefty. What's going on? It shouldn't be smurfing that fast. Look, it's glowing. Andy, what did you use for the axle pin? Well, I... I'm not sure, Papa Smurf. I've never seen anything like it before. Whatever it is, we'd better smurf it out of there while we still can. <gasps> what do we do, Papa Smurf? Every Smurf, follow me, quickly. I know I saw him. At least, I think I saw him. Gee, it sure is windy all of a sudden. Oh, smurf this.
The wind is dying. Quickly, we must find Dreamy. but to seek advice from Balthazar. Balthazar! Oh, the very thought of visiting him fills me with dread. But it's the only way, the only way. Smurfs, enjoy your disgusting happiness while you can. We'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> find eggs under rocks. Oh, you don't? Of course not. Oh! <laughs> ah, this is where we'll find our Easter eggs. Oh, boy! Here, egg! Here, egg! Eggy, eggy! <laughs> you never learn, do you? Let me handle this. You're fat. Oh, shh. Don't talk. Listen, that's how you'll learn. But, 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 Brainy, you're... Trust me, clumsy. Why, there isn't a canine alive I can out in part. <laughs> I don't want to 
we do, Brady? Hold me. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, I think we lost him. Right. Along with our Easter eggs, what will we tell Papa Smurf? Oh, Brainy. Not now, Clumsy. I'm thinking. But Brainy. Shh. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Oh, oh, an idea is forming. A hazy but undoubtedly brilliant idea that will... But what's wrong with this egg? This egg? <laughs> this egg, yes. Well, that was my idea all along. Yes, all along. Oh, really? Well, guess that's why you're the brains of the outfit. <laughs> I don't like visiting Balthazar any more than you do, Azriel. But we we must be brave. <laughs> Remember, Azriel, be brave. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Yeah! Oh! Phew! Balthazar! 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 Yeah! Balthazar, it's me, Gargamel, your only godson. I know. That's why I went easy on you. Now, state your business. Oh, yes. Well, uh, well I, I, I want to know how, uh, how to catch Smurfs. Smurfs? Smurfs? <laughs> Smurfs are nothing but a myth. The only place you'll find Smurfs is in this book. It's full of fairy tales about goblins and leprechauns and Smurfs. <laughs> it even has a formula for turning lead into gold by boiling six Smurfs. Turning lead into gold by boiling six Smurfs? Oh, <laughs> oh of course, <laughs> that is absurd. And here's a scheme for catching Smurfs by tricking Mother Nature into freezing them out of their village. No! <laughs> Mother Nature, Smurfs, madness! All superstitious madness! Oh, yes, <laughs> of course. You're absolutely right. I'm always right. I'll be off. I've seen enough of you for one day. Uh, yes, yeah, of course. Uh, goodbye, Godfather. <laughs> And now I'll not only catch those five little smurfs, but turn them into gold as well. <laughs> oh, I'll fry a few, pickle a few, and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few, and roast a few, and boil six smurfs for gold. Hey! Mother Nature, where are you? Yoo-hoo! Mother Nature, <laughs> yoo-hoo! Oh, me, oh, my, oh, my! Every year it's harder to shake the winter chill out of these old bones. Wake up, children! Spring is here! Oh, that's better! Ooh. Why, I... Ooh, What's ooh, all ooh, the excitement? Ooh, ooh, ooh. A visitor, you say? Ooh. Oh, why, I haven't had a visitor in centuries. Coming! Ooh, ooh. Coming! Yes? Oh, Mother Nature. 
I have traveled many, many miles to bring you this humble token of my undying yeah. devotion. Oh, how nice! Uh, but these don't look like mine. Uh, yeah, but, but they're almost as sweet. Uh, smell them. <gasps> oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh I, I, I don't feel so well. There, there, Mother Nature. You're under my power now. Oh, no. You'll upset the balance of things. I, they haven't finished changing the seasons yet. <laughs> Pleasant dreams, Mother Nature. Azriel, we've done it. We've nipped spring in the bud. Soon Papa Smurf will come around to see what's wrong. And then <laughs> I'll be here waiting. <laughs> Yum, 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 Hmm, strange. It almost feels like winter again. No! Great balls of Smurf! Something is very wrong with the weather. I must call an emergency meeting. And this, my little Smurfs, is the worst blizzard I have seen in all my 543 years. We must take action immediately. I hate taking action. Andy! Right here, Papa Smurf! I want a ladder tall enough to reach the lower branches of the great oak. Hefty, clumsy, brainy, and vanity. Smurf in a hand. Yes, Papa Smurf! Jokey, Frogsy, Smurfette, Taylor, and Farmer, go to the storehouse and gather what little food is left. Yes, Papa Smurf! Something tells me we're in for a long winter. The Smurf. There is only one who can set things right again. I must visit Mother Nature. Strange. This morning it was spring, and now it's freezing. Something is wrong, very wrong. My book is gone. That thieving Gargamel! But why would he steal a worthless book of fairy tales? Yes. They're not fairy tales. Hello? Mother Nature? Mother Nature? Hello? Gargamel! <laughs> How right you are, Papa Smurf! How right you are! <laughs> Smurfs, I will turn you into gold and become the richest, most powerful wizard in the world. And you and your Papa Smurf will be no more. Introduce a friend of mine. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Now I must return to the village. Fast. Azriel. Azriel. Oh, I can't wait for that fool cat. I have six. Smurfs to boil, and then I'll have gold and be rich, filthy, filthy rich. 
Oh, I'll fry a few, pickle a few, and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few, and roast a few, and boil six months for gold. Hey! Smurfs! 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 Gargamel has kidnapped Mother Nature! Mother Nature! And six Smurfs! Six Smurfs! And unless we free Mother Nature, the whole forest will remain frozen forever! What are we waiting for? Come on, let's go! <laughs> Harmony, handy, greedy, the door handle. Right, Papa Smurf? The boiled Smurfs. <laughs> oh, gold, lots of gold. You're rich, rich. Oh, filthy rich. <laughs> Vanity, guard the door. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, hey, it's Papa Smurf. All right now, hang on. We'll smurf you out in a minute. <laughs> ah, the handsome oh. smurf warrior guards his post. Look at those steely eyes, that firm jaw, those stunning whiskers. Whiskers, yes, <laughs> Don't love the nature. Wake up! <laughs> oh, 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 Good work, Smurfs. Now get out while you can. Hurry, it's too dangerous here. Wait outside with the others while I revive Mother Nature. But Papa Smurf, we can't leave you here. Smurfette, that's an order. Uh, yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, poor Papa. I hope you'll be all right if Gargamel ever wakes up. If this doesn't wake up Mother Nature, nothing will. Ducky, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look, someone's coming. Another human. No, oh, it can only mean terrible trouble for Papa Smurf. Ah, it's ready. <laughs> What is, what is, uh, uh... Where is my book? I know you stole it. And what are the Smurfs? Are they real? Tell me! Tell me! Smurfs? Real? <laughs> oh, of, of course not. <clears throat> They're gone. My, my Smurfs are gone. <laughs> God, 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 God. <gasps> A Smurf? They are real. Papa Smurf. Sorry, Gargamel, but I have to run. Stop! Halt! Gargamel, you're a blithering idiot and a disgrace to the family. Now, out of my way! Run, Papa Smurf! Ah, hurry! All I need to make gold is six Smurfs, and it doesn't matter if they're alive or dead. Watch closely, Gargamel. This is the magic wand of the future. It has the power to change the world. Oh, Papa Smurf! Papa! Papa! Ducky! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Are you all right? I'm fine. Fine. But 
poor duckling wasn't so lucky. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Godfather, that's amazing. That's silence. Hear me, Smurfs, and hear me well. I am Balthazar, Master Wizard. Surrender six of your own to me, or you will all pay dearly. That's right. You'll pay dearly. Oh, no. <laughs> I will. <laughs> of Gargamel. He put you under a sleeping spell to hold back spring. Hold back spring? Oh, yes, yes. I, I remember now. He had black roses. Shame on you, Gargamel. You've thrown everything out of balance just for your own selfish reasons. Oh! Oh! Wait! What are you doing? Let me go! You can't get away with this, you old... There it is. Done. Spring has returned. Yay! Yay! Mother Nature, can you do something for Ducky? Oh, the poor dear. Well, let me see. There, there, Ducky. Oh, he'll be all right now, Smurfette. Oh, Ducky. Now, that really is something to cheer about. Yay! For everything. We were glad to be of help, Mother Nature. You're just lucky I'm not a few thousand years younger, Plopus Smurf. <laughs> and a lot shorter. <laughs> you -ho! Mother Nature! It's for you, Mother Nature! <laughs> it's a surprise! No, Jokey, no! Why, thank you, Jokey! Ah. Goodbye! Happy Easter! Happy Easter, Mother Nature! I hate happy endings! Objects with fairness and kindness. <sighs> oh, if only I could be a king. La 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 Hey, where's my smurfing gear? And my purple coin. And my hoe. Dreamy, we need our things back. We have work to do. The weeds won't wait. I'm not Dreamy. I'm his royal smurfness. King Dreamy, the smurf artist. Sorry, Dreamy, but I need this right now. And I need this. And I this. Sorry, Dreamy. If I were a king, I'd be the smurfiest king that ever was. If I were king, all my subjects would love me. All hail, King Dreamy the Smurf-Hearted! All hail, King Dreamy the Smurf-Hearted! Thank you, my Smurfy subjects! Thank you! Ow! Whoa! <laughs> hey, wait up, Smurf! Help! Papa Smurf! Help! Some Smurf! Help! 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 <laughs> 
to return. That's me? Well, of course it is, O Great King. You've kept your promise. Oh, my fellow Pookies, our king has returned at last, at last! Yay! 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 Is it aboard your ship, Great King? Is it, is it? It's what aboard my ship? Your secret weapon. When you left us, you said you'd find a secret weapon to defeat the Norfnags. Are you sure you got the right spur? Whoops! Whoa! 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 What's all this? Sh -sh -sh Surely you know, my king. Uh, our enemies, the North Nags, they want more jewels. J -j jewels? Since you left, O Great King, the North Nags have been demanding even more jewels from us every day. Mm -hmm. Every day, or else they'll destroy us with their Quake Maker. O Great King, when are you going to free us from this slavery? Yes, O Great One, when are you going to free us? Well, I, um... <laughs> right Smurf, Gabby. I don't know what to do about those mean North Nags. But you can use your secret weapon, my king. How many times must I tell you? I don't have a secret weapon, and I'm not your king. I've never seen any of you before in my life. We bought your garments, my king. They're beautiful. Let us have the honor of adorning you, oh great one. Oh. Oh, my king, you look, you look smurfy. I'm so smurfly, smurfy. Yes. Smurfy. What does Smurfy mean? I look like a king. I feel like a king. I'm going to act like a king. You are a king. They're ready for the daily shipment, my king. Wait a Smurf. You mean to tell me you fill up this cauldron every day? Ah, uh -huh, that we do, that we do. Just who are these North Nats? Oh, they're big. And mean! And scary! Well, actually, uh, 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 we've never seen them. I see! Well, I'm going to smurf a look at them! <gasps> Pour in the jewels! You see? You see? I told you our king is the bravest king in the world! I told you! I told you! He's not afraid of the North Nags! He's not afraid of anything! He's gonna go up there and... Whoops! Uh, you mind if I tag along, my king? Smurf, look around. Oh, yes, yes, Smurf, look around. Good idea. Your language is so colorful these days, my king. <sighs> that must be their quake maker, Gabby. Show the pookies our thanks for another day's work. Well done. Yeah! <laughs> Those pookies 
are such fools. And the more we shake them up, the harder they work. <laughs> Twice the number of jewels or the quakes will never cease. And the roof of the world will fall upon you. Twice the jewels? That's impossible. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Can't. Can't. Have no fear, my fellow Pookies. Our king will protect us. He has no fear of the Norfnex mm -mm, and their threats. Mm -mm, he... Gabby, please. Don't overdo it. But my king, I need some time alone so I can think. <laughs> Smurf is me. What am I gonna do? Oh, dreamy, dreamy Smurf. Smurf fan. Oh, you just got to help those poor little pookies, dreamy. They need you. Uh, I, I want to help them, Smurf fan. But, but I'm afraid I just don't have the courage. Oh, fiddlesticks, dreamy Smurf. You always have the courage. Remember when you were captain of a sailing ship? Your crew of Smurfs were terrified of the storm, but you steered them to safety. Uh, uh, I did, didn't I? And when the Swoops challenged you to prove your skill and courage, you met that challenge. I did, I did! And, and what about the time you wanted to fly to the moon? Don't you think that took courage? Oh, yeah, I guess it did. You see, Dreamy? You're a natural-born leader. You're right, Smurfet. And I won't let the pookies down. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Dreamy. You're the smurfiest king who ever smurfed. The smurfiest king who ever smurfed. My loyal subjects, those jewels are yours. You work for them. Oh. Your days of slavery are over. My king, I knew you wouldn't let us down. I knew he wouldn't let us down. I knew it. I knew he wouldn't let us down. Your secret weapon, my king. Your invisible secret weapon. Right here, Gabby. Right here. North Max, I am Dreamy the Smurf-hearted. King of the Pookies. No longer will they serve you. Why, you insolent Smurf? Show yourselves. Let us see what you look like. Activate the Quake Maker! Oh, no, you don't! Take it to its full height! They will pay! Pay for their disobedience! We'll destroy them! Fire! Fire! Yes, my leader, yes! <laughs> Why, you bankers! For you Norths! All hail King Dreamy the Smurf-Hearted! All hail King Dreamy the Smurf-Hearted! The only secret weapon I needed was something you can all carry in here, Gabby! Courage! You are right, my king. He's right. We were afraid of these North Nags just because they talked loud and had all this fancy machinery. No, Gabby! <laughs> Dream, dreamy. Only a dream. You hit your head and had a dream. Oh. Last one back to the village is a rotten smurf, dreamy. I'm coming, Handy. Oops. It was all a dream, dreamy. Only a dream. But. Is it everything? <laughs>